Today we've got a really fun comparison between three completely different eras of golf clubs. Fairy Woods from Titleist, the Titleist by Akushnet from 1975, the 906 F2 from about 20 years ago from now, and then the Titleist TSI 2. We've got Michael here to hit some shots and we're gonna compare these three very different Fairy Woods. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, joined today on the driving range by Michael Geiger. Um, we're at Les Bolstead today on a, I guess, a chillier summer morning, but yeah. um, I think the, the chillier temperatures I'm welcoming after the last couple weeks of 90 plus every day. So, But today it's going to be a lot of fun because we have three Titleist Fairy Woods and you wouldn't know they're the same company just by looking at them. No. Because you have 1975 Titleist Akushnet 5 wood and then the term wood actually applies to this yes. club. Uh, then you have the, what I have, 906 F2 in my hand, and then a Titleist TSI 2. So three completely different eras, and we're gonna kind of really see how golf club performance has improved over the last almost 50 years yeah. of you know design and improvements and innovations. And so um, we've got five woods today, all at 18 degrees, yep. all with stiff flex shafts. Now that has a steel shaft, so that's gonna be, I mean, there's gonna be feel and performance differences. But Michael, talk to me about, because having been in the handmade sticks world and sure. you know the persimmon woods and stuff from Dempsey, and this has to be very intriguing for you. It's very cool, you know, so much of the conversation in the golf world right now is around technology, and, and it's, it's cool to see the actual progression. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so often we talk about, you know, the distance numbers and, and, and spin numbers, but, the actual just jarring visual differences oh, yeah. that you see over 50 years of innovation. So I am, uh, I'm pretty excited to see the actual mm -hmm. uh, dive into the numbers. Yeah, and actually I should note too that we had Larry on the podcast, on the Second Swing Thoughts podcast, and I asked him what was the most um, you know, monumental development in golf clubs, and he said metal woods without even hesitating. Right. right? So we're gonna see that shift today, I'm sure, with the technology. Um, we have the full swing launch monitor with us. So we're going to get some data. Yep. And uh, I mean, I'm just intrigued because, first of all, the club head size is a right. major difference. But then also, I mean, you can see four screws in there on the oh, face yeah. where the hitting zone is of that old five wood. Yeah. Um, very, very different materials and construction. So uh, I would imagine a pretty seismic jump from that five wood to even the 906 F2, which I think we all think is probably an old golf club nowadays. So. Um, are you ready to hit some shots, Michael? Let's do it. All right, so Mr. Geiger, we have to start with it's, the it's, old school wood. Yeah. Wood. Uh, first of all, just tell me what you see when you look down at that club. I don't see a lot. <laughs> it's uh, about the size of maybe like two golf balls yeah. worth of mass. Um, it, it seems almost difficult to miss the sweet spot because yeah. uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out, but it is, it's a jarring uh, visual. At the same time, it, it sets up pretty beautifully. It sets up square. Yeah. Um, I do actually, from here, I like the visual cue of the black sort of, it, you have the black, you know, yeah. uh, hitting area marked on the face, but then it also kind of curves over to the, to the crown of the club too. So that, in a way, it probably is a good visual cue for alignment. Totally. Oh, that's really that old school sound, isn't it? Yeah. Like you, you old school golf. A um, couple good swings there, I gotta say. Well, what's your thought on our feedback on the feel right now? I mean, it's two? it's wood bat baseball. It's yeah. it's that one was a bit more of a miss, and you just you, you feel it. But the first one, I mean, when you pure it, it's there's no better feeling than yeah. hitting one out of the middle of a wooden bat. It's yeah. uh, flies yeah. pretty true. The flight was pretty solid. Didn't yeah. fall out of the air. Yeah, I mean, those two shots were actually really impressive. I mean, you got a 226 and a 227 carry there, so we'll take it. That was a contact on that little one. Little miss hit. Little miss, and it's okay. still, I mean, it's probably going to be what, like 210? No, that one, that one care. Well, here's the deal. With normalization, we'll see how this goes. Okay, that's still hung up there pretty well. 228 that time. This is going very, okay. very well. This, I don't I, know. Maybe we should my, be my three iron promoting might be. more wood woods in the bag still in uh, 2023 here. My three iron is sweating bullets right now. <laughs> Another one high in the sky. 
Wow, this is actually really impressive what was happening. Another 227 carry. I think this is your new club. We, we might have to get this thing in the bag. <laughs> okay. How was that one? Definitely a miss hit. Okay. Interesting. Okay, we did see a drop off there. Yeah. So, now you gotta you gotta talk to me about. You had, what was that low in the face? Did you see? Yeah. Or really yeah. You, you kind of low like toe. That. Yeah. Low toe. Okay. Well, I've got the numbers up here. Um, got five shots. I mean, four really really good ones, and then you dropped off by about ten yards on that last one, which is sure. actually still pretty, pretty solid. Sure. Um, and then if we look at the dispersion, that last one you can also see did kind of curve off way to the right versus yeah. the previous four but right um i mean that's a pretty good that's much better showing than i would have expected for that club. it's good i think you know given that it will go the shortest of the three i think the dispersion will probably it, it might be on the tighter side mm -hmm. but i think you'll see as that last one displayed i think the misses as we move upward in technology the misses will start to kind of right, yeah. coalesce yeah, i think that's probably true so speaking of that let's get to the 906 here and we'll see how that goes let's do it So the 906 F2, yep. um, will, I mean, obviously a pretty different appearance set of dress for this one. Definitely. I mean, we've gone from the BGs to the Black Eyed Peas. We're, we're, we've moved forward in time. Um, yeah. Obviously, the, the metal face is, is obvious. Yep. Mass is starting to get big. I mean, compared to many modern three woods, it's still on the, it's very compact. So mm -hmm. it's not, uh, it's not exactly like the five wood I usually play, but um, you can definitely see what yeah. 30 years does to oh, a club. Oh, definitely. Well, you can definitely, and I think we're going to see this too, is you're going to swing these clubs faster. Yes. Because obviously that older club, steel shaft, um, heavier build, right? Versus right. Versus we have 75 gram stiff flex graphite shafts in yep. the next two. So right off the bat, we're seeing 250 carry normalized with that first shot, which is already a big jump in distance. Totally. Yeah, I mean, your club speed is already like eight to 10 miles an hour faster. Right. So. Was that one a bit, a bit of a miss? Bit of a or miss was that, there, oh, yep. was. Okay, so I'm noticing that your miss hit there was about 15 yards further than your kind of best shots with the previous right, club, which exactly. makes sense. We're obviously expecting more distance. You would say. think, yeah. Yep. Still not directly out of the middle, but I mean, just so much more forgiving. Mm-hmm. That draw bringing it back left, 241 on the carry there. So right now you're kind of in the 240 to 250 window right. with, this, with this club here. I didn't even see the ball. Big left. Oh, it should well, go far. They went far. Yeah. They did. <laughs> Dispersion might be a little left. Oh, that's not that bad, actually. Ooh. Another one turning left. But yep. Certainly hit well. All right, so Michael, I've got your uh, 906 F2 numbers in front of me yeah. here. Um, so you're averaging 247 carry, right? And with the uh, Kushnet 1975 wood five wood, mm -hmm. you were I think your best was 227. You had basically 226, 227 for four of them, and right. then you had the 217 on that last one. Yep. Um, so you're I mean, automatically gaining about 25 yards, which not a huge surprise. Um, and then I also wanted to bring up the dispersion because you were going a little left with that though. Yes. And I think that, so there's, there's an interesting kind of gi give and take there because, um, and, you, and you can see here on the, on the map, I've got the starred ones, which are the most recent shots. Mm -hmm. And then, so you got your bunched up wood, wood shots, which is really impressive. Um, something about a lighter club, maybe a perhaps faster swing, but also maybe tougher to control in some sense. Sure. Um, so something to note there when just in general, a weight of the club thing is if you swing slower which is a heavier club's gonna force you to do right it might be easier to at least contain dispersion a little bit in that sense definitely and i think yeah with, with a 25 yard difference i mean that might be the difference between a, a four iron and your six iron mm -hmm. you're gonna hit your six iron tighter than your right. four iron so uh it makes sense as you hit it farther it's gonna you know kind of yeah. widen out a little bit also that draw did show up a little bit more too yep. with um the faster swing if you will so right. Um, all right, so now we've got the most modern of the group, the TSI-2 here. 
uh, I'm curious about this because we did see a 25 yard jump again, but I don't, I mean, are, you probably didn't, don't think five wood 270 is in your I, I, repertoire. So. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> oh yeah. See, even interesting because swung that one even a touch faster yet. Yeah. Um, which could go into the aerodynamics and then the shaft and things are for sure. Once again, improved after another 15 plus years. For sure. So. Oh yeah. Playing the cut back into the wind. 235 on that one. Oh yeah. Towering draw. Now talk to me about, so we've hit, you, we talked a little bit about the feel of that mm -hmm. wood club. Obviously the 906 F2 was very different feel wise. Yeah. How does that not compare to the TSI 2? It, it's definitely every, every club has been the, a little more muted, I would okay. say than the last one. Obviously part of that's the material, part of that's the, the size getting bigger. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of factors, but it's just a little bit, yeah, a little bit quieter, a little bit more muted feel yeah. in the hands. Gotcha. So you're not, the vibrations are dampened more and more. Exactly. It's newer. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Another one. Smoked. All right, Mr. Geiger. The TSI 2, we talked a bit about the feel, but I wanted to bring up the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got your last five here carrying 253, which I believe was the furthest of the day for all clubs. Yep. We had that 235 cut, which was a really good shot with this win today. And then you're back up in that 250 range for the rest of the shots. Mm -hmm. But to me, I think, and I, I, I'll see if it's corrected here, but I'm going to go to all the shots and look at the spin rate. And we're going to see here because um, you can kind of see the first, you know, basically every swing besides your third one with the wood wood, right? But basically all of them are in the 4,000s, okay? Yeah. You get to the TSI 2, which is the last five shots that are starred on the screen here. And you all of a sudden see that spin rate go down for almost all the shots. Yeah. And so that might be not necessarily in the distance department, but you can see the spin is more controlled nowadays yep. um, with the modern fairy woods. I think that was the biggest takeaway for this club because we didn't actually see a gigantic distance jump for you um, with this club versus the 905. Yeah. Sorry. I think, yeah, you see the kind of the ease and, and the forgiveness of, of the new technology. I, I probably didn't swing this one quite as well as I did uh, the 2006 Titleist mm -hmm. Fairway Wood, but you still saw, it just felt, you know, easy launch. Uh, the, the dispersion was still solid. Mm -hmm. uh, the, it, it's, just a, it's just easier, as you would expect. Yeah, I mean, your consistency with the distance, you had the cut that went, you know, 235 right there, but mm -hmm. then you have all of a sudden these other four here that are starred. You got right around the 250 mark on every single one. Right. So uh, that, I mean, the consistency of the clubs when you maybe miss it slightly off the center is going to be way better, obviously, yep. with this versus um, an older club, 906 or even further back if mm -hmm. we already hit. Um, but it's it's just fascinating to see how the spin is what really kind of changed um, from the 906 to the to the TSI two, right. and I think it, part of it is you were hitting the ball in the center of the face quite a bit with both clubs, um, and so so then from there the distance won't change a ton, but the performance of the ball flight and everything did change. I think, right, so. exactly. Uh, but this was fun because it's uh, like we said, it's basically three completely different eras of golf clubs. Um, we got to look at you know the, how the distance changed, consistency changed, and I showed you the dispersion maps too, um, but the 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 rate at which the ball was spinning has also made the change in the more the, the clubs recently and i mean you hear that push all the time like low spin right, right. high launch low spin um so they're the manufacturers are going for it and Tylus in this case again we just the last saw 15 it years, we've seen that thing change but um do you have any other feedback michael from this test i mean as someone who has kind of been I know you're a historian of the game, but sure. in terms of equipment as well. I mean, going back to 1975, testing clubs today. No, I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting how club technology has sort of mirrored the improvement of the, the typical golfer, right? Like a typical golfer who's just trying to break 100, if they start taking lessons, they're going to see those quick, easy gains, right? Yep. They're going to suddenly they're going to be breaking 90, and, and that's it, it happens really quickly. And once you start getting in that kind of single-digit handicap territory, improvement levels off. You can sort of yep. plateau. It's interesting with distance and with with technology 
some of the distance and, and, and ball speeds sort of level off, but you still see them finding ways to find improvement yeah. with, with the ball speed. Um, or we're sorry with the uh, with the spin mm -hmm. and so uh it's interesting how club manufacturers over 50 years are, are just still continuing to innovate yep and it's uh it's aerodynamics and at this point you know we're talking about changes that you won't see so drastic as like you know when we went we went from 220 carry to 250 with one club change right, right. um but you're gonna see consistency and then spin management right those things were drastically improved from one club to the next in the more recent eras of golf clubs i'd say so um really fun one here though uh michael thanks for joining and golfers if you're ever curious about how much golf club performance has changed in the last 45 years you got a little taste of it today um, but of course you can find used clubs at second swing from the last 20 30 even more years on our website or in our inventory so shop at secondswing.com uh, thanks again michael this was pretty cool you got it